Kashtira Manadium with the Vader Monsters and Turnscape come together for a 60 card power deck which is actually a really fun and surprisingly consistent and competitive and aggressive alternative to the 40 card version and I definitely highly recommend it. The Vader cards are amazing at extending, the Kashtira cards are great at going second. They can kind of do the job by themselves. You have so many one card starters and it's annoying for the opponent to deal with. I got third place at my locals last week which was 45 people. I went X1 in the end. I lost to a Flunder player, which honestly was out of my hands. Game one, he went full board. Game two, I got Dark Ruler evenly, evenly matched. And then this week, I also got third place at Locals with two big turnouts as well. The proof is there. This deck is actually kind of crazy. I kind of Frankenstein another Mana Dome deck. We've done Mana Dome tournaments, Mana Dome Scareclaw, Mana Dome Adventure, Mana Dome Beastial, and now Mana Dome Kashtira. So stick around, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the video. First up, we're discussing the Visus monsters. This stuff you kind of already know, but you can see I'm adding three new cards. Vader, Kalanta, Clear New World, which is reprinted as a Super and OTS, and Rome Elegy. Rome Elegy is a non monster turn Vader monster searcher. If Visus is on the field and a tuner is robbed by a battle or card effect, you can banish it and add that tuner back to the hand. So if there's ways where you have Torrid and you start with that, you're going to go into a Meek. Because you didn't actually special Meek from hand, if you add it to the hand, it's another extender for a link play. So I really like Elegy and you can search it off of Amitara because it mentions Visa Star Frost in Kashtira Mana Dome. I was actually blown away by how consistent and useful Vader Kalanta and Clooney World is. You know, if for example, today at Locals, I broke tournament boards with Kalanta, he was 5,500. And of course we had the Clooney World so we could go into and access other parts of our deck. People know by now what to disrupt in the Mana Dome strategy, but Clooney World gets us to exactly what we want. For example, Kalanta can turn into Samsara, Vicious Stroud can turn into Visa Starfrost, the Kashtiras, every single one of them can transform into pretty much every single Mana Dome or Visa's card, which I think is actually quite crazy. And so for that reason, it felt like it made sense to play these. Still free, free Visa Starfrost because we're playing 60 cards, I think it just makes a lot of sense. But also, you know, I found cases where I would use one in hand, they would get rid of Visa Starfrost thinking that you know what, let's stop the Lightheart play, which is fine, but we can special Samsara from the hand and then go into Lightheart, which is quite sick. So that was a pretty good play I did a few times, as well as shuffling Amitara back into the deck. When it comes back to our turn, after the opponent's turn, we can use it for an OTK, which is quite nice. But also, if you play Axel Synchro Stardust Dragon, this Samsara card is actually really, really good. Even better than Visa Starfrost, which is crazy to say. But having that access to Beast of Despite is really, really strong. I successfully summoned Vader. Kalakanum is the actual, actual turn skip in Yu-Gi-Oh. It literally says it becomes the end phase of the turn. If your opponent summons a monster from the extra deck, it's a trigger effect as well. And so you banish 12 cards from your hand field or grave face down to do it and we achieved that against an actual opponent so this isn't just stuff i'm saying i actually did it against someone at locals i did it against a fire king opponent and it actually proved itself as well in my Bologna deck profile i did showcase clear new world and that it can beat draw and lockbird i don't know if we play three clear new world but i know for a fact we do play it uh, to beat things like droll find the tuna find the piece we're missing next up are the mando monsters so we decided to play uh one torrid three mana Dome meek i figured in a 60 card deck we want to have, you know, more guaranteed access to our tuners. Yes, we've played two imaginings. And I was actually surprised how often I would go into Beast of Despair via Crimson Dragon because I made a level 4, 15, 21 into a tuner. We could also do that with your Beast Deals and a level 4, uh, 15, 21 into a tuner, make Beast of Despair. That was quite crazy. I did that a few times as well. We have Rice Heart in the deck. It's a Kashtira deck after all. So we could banish it a special Rice Heart. I love the fact that Rice Heart is a great extender but it's actually a 1521. So when you detach it for Shangri-La, it comes back to our turn. It's a ammo piece for Vicious Astral, which is really good. Of course, we had to play it. Uh, the one reframing in the main deck to make sure we could still be things like Droplet, which actually was really popular. And it's a change I made since last week where I wasn't running it. Turn players are still running about as well. So you can obviously shuffle, banish this, shuffle Mana Doms back into the extra deck. One combo you can do with Abscission and with Kashtira Fenrir, which is very, very cool. Uh, you can actually Fenrir, search Fenrir, Abscission, Pop Fenrir, search Calarium, and special the other Fenrir. Or you can even do Fenrir search Unicorn, which is actually much better. So there we go, a great example of the synergy with the Kashtiras. So because we're playing a 60 card deck, it just made sense to run three Rykar. I'm also running Shadows Light in the side deck, so we can tag out Rykar into Rium Heart and go full combo. Sometimes with the weird hands that you can get, the Rakophobia search isn't even that important, but you can set Scareclaw Kashtira. And if you do your Kashtira cards correctly, you should have a Birth Banished and then anytime you can see a Theosis, which you can search a Unicorn. 
later down the line scarecrow cash will banish theosis and back a cash zero monster which actually happened quite a few times in my duels sps will banish fenris i can just bring it back straight away uh, so many examples actually of like how that card came into use i mean guys the rack of Hobbit pop is actually kind of crazy the amount of times uh, first action in the main phase when it is a grind game and I could always tell that was a big problem for the opponent Now let's talk about the part you guys probably all came for which is the actual Kashtira monsters So we're running one race off only two Kashtira birth and one Theosis You don't really want to boil down to the Kashtira combo It's great to see them of course but once you resolve it once that should be the end of the game So unicorn such Theosis is amazing especially if you can find a Scareclaw extender in hand Birth is kind of the one card that after disruption is what makes Kashtira keep going even when they break your board, it's the one card that keeps them going as well. The Banished 3 face down is absolutely crazy. Rip the rescue cards from their graveyard. More so with other decks like Wanted, Original, even Fire Kings as well. You can rip the Garunix, you can rip uh, the Kirin from the graveyard and they're not doing nothing after that. I would never worry about going second because all of this is actually going second. It just so happens to work really nice going first as a threat with Unicorn's extra deck Banish effect, which is actually just crazy. Players will want to get rid of Birth. So I played the second one, so I can search it as well, which is great. And the one race off, and the reason why is we played Revolution Synchron with Ancient Fairy Dragon, which is a level seven race off at Scarecrow Kashtira, or maybe you find another Kashtira to summon, Obsession Banish Raisa, Raisa go level seven, make your Shangri-La. Maybe the revision is to actually bump up the race off to three, but I don't want to rely on that and losing to Droll more. Rice Heart was amazing as well. I mean, even when you go into time plays, you have to do that sometimes. You, know, you can specially with a Kashtira make Cowboy and that was actually really easy to do because it's just a level 4 special you already have probably a Raikar on the field as your burn play or you could even run things like Abyss Dweller so I guess what I'm trying to say is you know these guys are just so easy at making Exceed monsters Fenrir just threatens so many games and people are terrified of Fenrir like they will waste resources trying to get rid of this card and the best thing Rise Heart's effect to banish 3 face down that actually did some serious damage against a lot of players and I feel like that effect is super low key so there we go Someone even did it against me and I lost all my one ofs That was hilarious. Okay, let's talk about the other cards that we're running as well just to help us with consistency. We're playing Revolution Synchron and just one tuning. The two, three cards I took out was Vader Kalakanem, a Second Realm Elegy, and the Assault Synchron, which I was initially playing to help me go into Trasuta, uh, to also help me go into Baron de Fleur with Vader with a Stroud because it's not something people players predict so instead I played these guys and these guys were sick I played them this week at locals they were insane counting tournament cards you name it you love to see it and that was kind of my good stuff ratio uh, for cards that just helped me win the game more honestly the revolution synchron and tuning packages super underrated and I do run it in my other versions of the deck I'll put a playlist up on the channel you can check out all my mana dome videos all the versions of mana dome if you're a big visas fan like me you might enjoy that where I played in tournaments made ancient fairy in this deck, we can do the same thing, rotate our field spells. It's possible they always try to stop Lyheart, which players see a lot of success with, actually, is why they stop it. So we can use things like Revolution Synchron to rotate the field spell ourselves. We can win in time as well, because it gives us a thousand life points. Because special low fall from the hand, but also makes Amritara for free. HF is a light monster. Bring back Revolution Synchron as the tuna. Three talents in a 60 card deck just makes a lot of sense. You can even add Beast of Despair back to the extra deck. Which is crazy. I don't think I ever got to pull that off, but that was the intention. The other intention was, of course, with this and Meek at level 4 or Imaginings on a 1521 into a Tuna, I can easily make Beast of Despair, but also can make Baron 2, which is nice. Labyrinth is getting really strong. I did lose to a Labyrinth player this week, a scary matchup with Transaction Rollback. And so there we go, guys. That has been the main deck. Let's move on to the extra deck for my Kashtira 60 card mana dome. All right, guys, for the extra deck, we are playing one Trisukta. We're playing Amritara, uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon, Beast of Despair. Baron de Fleur, Crimson Dragon, and then of course we've got the two Vicious Strouds. For the non-Synchros and Exceeds, we're playing one Shangri-La, one is all you need. Access Code Talker, Appaloosa, Cross Sheep, SP, and then two Scarecrow Lighthearts. Everything here actually worked really well. I think the only thing I was actually missing, which you probably can take out if you have more race offs, is the Tuning and Revolution Synchron and Ancient Fairy. And then that is where you add in the Axel Synchro Stardust Dragon, just to guarantee Beast of Despair a little bit more. Both sides, you run more Ghost Sisters, so you can actually do a level 7 Kashtira and a level 3 Tuner to make Baron. Revolution Synchron is a level 3 Tuner as well. Maybe for the extra deck, we take something out and we add in Unicorn, but I don't know what we would take out here. The one Shangri-La, even though this is a Kashtira Manadome deck, and there's a lot of Kashtira monsters. One Kashtira Shangri-La was actually all I 
wanted to play i'd even miss playing anything else although i feel like we should consider big guy but even then still the cash deals kind of just did their own thing as effect monsters which is why i want to play them in the first place give me adrian also counters fire king so once again i've been praising that card for months and months and it's still holding true it's one of the best synchros in the game and that has been my cash tier up manadome 60 card deck profile let me know what you thought about this in the comments down below do you agree with some of the cards i used this is a really fun take and a really interesting way to play Visus decks. Basically hop through every single planet. I'm just shocked at how powerful the cash dealers are. We got cash dealer unicorn back at three and clearly is making a difference. They were winning games by themselves and there were just too many starters. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.